on the last one we unlocked all sorts of things i don't even know we we did stuff and we uh, unlocked doors and got a new key card and we're going to construct a spin today because i don't know why not we haven't done that yet and i don't think we're at a point where we can do much with mods i guess we could nope we don't have an astral blip we do have some ability points to spend, and because I like throwing things, I'm going to take launch three and launch enemy ones. Launch enemy ones? Just because it's going to amuse me. Like, literally, that's, that's the only reason why. So we have weapon forms now, and I don't know how we switch from one to the other. I guess it's that simple. What would we want to do with spin? Those are exclusive to shatter. We don't have any. We do have one exclusive to spin. Uh, cat. Hi. That's not really necessary right now, but thanks. We do have a new collectible. Looks like we have, uh, at least one new of these things, so let us roll. I will shut up them. What else do we have here? Internal lockdown. So much is expected from the director. The responsibility. The privilege. To steer the Bureau into dangerous waters and safely out again. To inspire and lead its people. To protect them. The board is there to advise you. But they want things in return. You hold all this in your old, trembling hands. I had to lose everything before I could see the Bureau is the Director's life. There's no room for anything else. If the forces contained here escaped, we'd be dragged back into an age of superstition, terror, death. Assuming you think we ever really left that behind. Any emergency, any major containment breach. And the lockdown goes into effect. I implemented this security measure in my first years as director. I knew we were vulnerable. I'd personally seen the cost of sloppiness. I made sure the internal lockdown could only be lifted by a directorial override, only to be used when the director is confident the sectors are safe to be opened again. This way, the director is the last line of defense. And if I screw up, it's on me. And me alone. Well, that's a cheery thought. We're all caught up in those things, so I guess what we're going to do is fast travel over to the energy converters. Now we have some sort of uh, side quest thing going on over here. Where are we in comparison? So this way is the way to go. Eliminate key hiss targets. Oh yes. This is an acceptable firearm. Right. You guys need to stop. Okay. I guess I should have taken a side quest for killing various things with spin. Right. You, you also need to stop coming over here, because... Oh, hi. You are a field operative that needs to be punched. Repeatedly. Oh, you don't like being punched. My bad. Oh, I'm, I'm totally going to eat it here. Let's grab some health right quick. Let's do the SMRT thing. Grab some health. Hi, how you doing? I can't see you because it is just a mess of stuff. Hi, how you doing? Um, there you go. Blast in the face with the spinny gun. Recharge, recharge. 
Yeah, I don't know if I love this gun or not, but I need to move. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. Let's explode, explode you. I was hoping you would drop some health stuff. That didn't really work out. Hi. Okay. Is there any health over here? Because, uh, I can really use some. Quick, fast, and in a hurry. Uh, I can't see where the dude is anymore. He's over there. Okay, got it. Hi. Okay. Do 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 do. Sounds like there's something or someone to the left, but apparently not. Hi. Need a little more, a little more energy. Ooh, we got an astral blip out of that. That might mean we have enough stuff, at least materials, to upgrade our mods. I haven't even looked at mods in a while, so I have no idea what we have available. This apparently was just a little uh, high... high reward side quest because it's a time-limited thing. So let's... Um, before here, before we do that, where are we going? I want to look at... Nope, nope, nope. Try it again. There we go, that one. Now, yeah. okay. Yeah, we're not supposed to be here. Got it. Let's, let's go ahead and fast travel. Last time we talked to Emmeline, she said we could take the elevator to research parapsychology something or other. So, I assume we're going to get some big blocky letters in just a second. There they are. So this is Central Research. Welcome to the research sector of the Federal Bureau of Control. I'm Dr. Casper Darling, head of research. Somebody thought this video would make for great internal communications. I'm looking at you, Mr. Tomasi. So, this is where the magic happens. Anyway, I've been here for 24 years now. I've always been here. And, and through those years, we've made astonishing discoveries, authored studies of grave importance, and in all this work, there is one thing we know, and that's how little we truly know. Rest assured, we're committed to keep pushing the known laws and borders of reality, and to make the Bureau proud. So, welcome. Assuming you have the necessary clearance, and, and do follow the safety protocols. Read the manual, otherwise bad things will happen. It sure seems like we're maybe a touch late for bad things to be happening. Or not happening, as it were. Entropic Echo. Entropic Echo? Entropy. Entropic. Got it. Okay. So, we definitely lifted the lockdown on the last one. And there will be some people to shoot here momentarily, I assume. This is where the magic happens. Yep. We're aware of that. Thank you for that, Dr. D. Third. Hello? More of these guys, huh? Okay. Let us reload here. I'm trying to watch out for that other one, because that's going to be the problem gonna be able to control one but the other one's going to be like nah I don't want you to forget I'm here so here hold this forklift and where'd the other one go there you are I don't know if I like this gun I like this gun but I don't know if I like this gun go ahead and recharge how you doing down there I see you don't you think I don't yeah I see you you are seen! Um, hi. Ow! Oh yeah? Oh yeah, that's, that's satisfying right there. That is satisfying. You guys look tired, why don't you, uh, take a seat? Oh, you. 
Hey, your friend wants to say hello. There we go. Are we good here? It seems like we should be good here. Um, hello? Ah, uh, sniper. Yeah. Can't wait until I get a sniper rifle. Kaboom! Hello! Yeah, there's not going to be much I can do about that right now. Okay, let's ignore them for the minute. For the minute and a half it's going to take to go in here and look at everything. Read some stuff. Ooh, a plant complaint. Hey, so I was just wondering about the plants and research. Is it really necessary to sing to them? I mean, that janitor does have a nice voice, and the plants sure seem to like it. Maybe he could just switch it up a bit? I'm getting pretty tired of the tango. Where did these plants even come from? No one seems to remember when they were planted. People like them a bit too much, if you ask me. Are we being invaded by houseplants? Worth looking into, Dr. Lewis. I agree, Dr. Lewis. I feel like we're being invaded by plants. What good have plants ever done for us? It's not like they've ever, you know, provided food or cleaned air or anything like that. Plants. Just awful. Ooh, it's movie time. Let's sit down and watch. Oh, maybe it's not movie time. A glimpse into the paranatural synchronicity and the unseen connections as penned by Dr. Theodore Ash. Head of research, by the way. Synchronicity is a phenomenon long recognized by the wise, but only recently given a name by science. It is how we rationalize events connected by no identifiable causality, yet clearly conjoined in purpose. How does a dream foretell an event in the physical plane? Why do hounds bail at the death of their master, which has occurred miles away? The world is unified in ways we do not yet understand, and sometimes we stumble across these invisible, unseen chords and wonder at the result. The visionary Carl Jung laid the road, now we must walk it. My fledgling research department will make it our mission to reliably reproduce redacted behavior by the close of 1959. Once done, the mechanics of synchronicity will lay themselves bare in due time. We are striding into the future of science. History may not remember our names, but God himself will. Referred file redacted for full report. 1959. 1959. Wow. Just saying. I think, you know, just guessing by Jesse's clothes here, we're a little... A little after 1959. Just, just guessing. Uh, hello? Is no one tired down there? Uh, here. Well, I feel bad if I don't give you a couch, so. Oh. It kind of fell apart. My bad. Let's go ahead and get down there. Although, let's go up. Oh, wow. Hold on. We have. Parapsychology is downstairs. Dimensional research in Dr. Darling's offices are both upstairs. Upstairs we go. I'm gonna guess we can't go this direction just yet. That looks suspicious to me, like a direction to go that we can't get into. Um, hi. How you doing? There you go. I might have held the trigger a little too long there. This box is going to do some double duty. Ooh. Donk. There you go. Alright. Excellent. We have cleared the room. Mostly. I can't say we cleared the bottom, but we did definitely clear the top. Oh man, uh, I guess we'll go with Dr. Darling's room. Dr. Darling's office first. Office of Head of Research, Dr. Casper Darling. I suspect this is going to be a heavy reading room. So, uh, I guess let's, let's get started. Questions. 
if I could click to the right thing. Uh, which one is unread? I've been fielding questions recently regarding HRAs. What are they for? Do you always need to wear them? And what's the deal with the hadron resonance anyway? I... Fuck. Despite what you may have heard, HRAs are not monitoring devices. We're not tracking your movements or listening to your conversations while you're wearing them. We do that regardless whether or not you're wearing an HRA. Think of them as a, as a uh, life preserver. Only instead of water, the, the thing HRAs protect you from is um, classified. One day that classified, not water, might pour in and you'll be glad you got, a, got an HRA keeping you afloat. And if you don't have an HRA, don't worry. It'll be uh, quick and painless. <laughs> kidding. I'm kidding. We're making more. I blame the cat for moving the mouse there. That was not at all uh, disconcerting. Alternative perspective, objects of power and their astral connections. Dr. Darling is insistent that certain objects of power share a direct connection to the redacted, an entity or group of entities that we have little information on or little that I am allowed to access. In his written reports, he states that there is a clear link between these objects of powers, the redacted, the astral plane, and the oldest house itself. His work supposes these links are innate, a fact ingrained into the very redacted of objects such as the hotline or the service weapon. But what if these particular objects were never linked to the redacted, but had that connection forced upon them? Isn't it strange that no other objects of power require such direct contact with the redacted? Isn't it strange that using the service weapon or the hotline role will result in grievous harm or even death if the user is not the director or at least worthy of the role? Why do we assume that this involvement by the redacted is a natural fact and not something more redacted? Refer to file 623-9382 for full report. It's an interesting thought. Yes, 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 yes. No, 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 no. More yeses, more noes. And some plants. So that's the same one that is playing that we just watched. So that's why that one triggered. That's what we have over here. Resonance theory. Utilization of paranatural elements resonance. This is compiled by Dr. D. Resonance. It's there, but we can't see it. It vibrates around us, through us, from us. But what if the vibration is conscience? Conscience? Conscious. What could a force like that do? Redacted opened the door to a redacted I've called redacted. The redacted emits a force that is far beyond the forces we've previously dealt with. It has shown me so much that I have to wonder. Is resonance the key element in all altered phenomenon? AWEs, altered items, objects of powers. Do they share a common redacted that we've yet to discover? We can harmonize control points. What else would correct the frequency? What else would the correct frequency allow us to achieve? What if resonance has been the answer this whole time? Refer to file redacted for full report. And we got another one on this side. Sorry for knocking over your files. Oh. Seems to me like there would be a puzzle or something connected with that. And I don't know why I think that. It just seems like the kind of game that would do that. Got another file down here. 
Darling budget request. Dear Dr. Darling, I suspect my colleague Dr. Harrington has already contacted you asking for an increase in her department's budget. I'm not surprised. Parapsychology has always been the squeaky wheel, all fuss but no results. Parakinesiology has always been the stronger department, more breakthroughs, more tangible data, more usable research. I'm sure a man of your esteem can plainly see which department is more deserving of the budget increase. Just think what those additional resources could do for an already formidable research team. Anyway, I know you're a fan of single malt, so I left a bottle of well-aged brown on your desk. Yours in admiration, Dr. Abraham Lewis. Sounds like someone was uh, trying to butter up the head of the department. I don't see the bottle, though. Where are you? I wanted to see how, how aged it is and how good it is. I wouldn't have the slightest clue how to know. If it's any good, that is. Examine, examination of paranatural topics, the astral plane, and objects of power, as compelled by Dr. Casper Darling. The Bureau has spent years studying why objects of power transport users into the astral plane when touched. My predecessor, Dr. Ash, theorized that a potential receptacle, determined by Jungian archetypes in the collective subconscious, would be inhabited by paranatural energies when an AWE occurred in its vicinity, creating an altered item. Over time, a link was created by the redacted and the astral plane to that item, making it an object of power. So many additional theories have been raised since Dr. Ash's time. Objects of power were placed on Earth as tests by some astral entity. Our dimension was once part of the astral plane, and the objects of power were left behind as its borders receded. The astral plane was an early threshold into the oldest house, but the connection was severed, and now the two are linked solely through the objects of power. I will attempt to disprove some of these in order to thin the herd. Hopefully, the truth will emerge. Refer to file 632-6498 for full report. I think we have done all the reading things in here. Allow us to uh, get out of here. And we'll head to the other door. Just making sure there's no one else out here. You never know. I don't trust this game. Let's go over to dimensional research. I mean, can I jump over that? I guess not. Okay. Well, I guess we're just going to set off the, the metal detector. And it's just going to have to be okay. That is quite the walkway. Oh, wow. This is wild. Averse to using objects of power. I don't want to lean on things I ultimately can't trust. But the ashtray and the cigarette, smoking there forever, have their uses. The ashtray maze they conjure is an impossibly changing labyrinth that no one but the binder and those the binder invites can ever pass through. The things we hid in dimensional research the things Darling studies, the danger and the risk involved, call for every measure of security and protection I could bring to the table. The maze, hands down, is our strongest lock. I gave Darling and his chosen crew license to pass through the maze. Lately, I've started to think I should revoke that license. Didn't mean to interrupt a different scene playing, so let's see if we can catch what that one is. So we're about to go through a labyrinth with every measure of security. That sounds encouraging, exciting, and completely, entirely, cat, 100% safe. The last, that'll have to wait for the next one. Catch you that one, Dylan. Thanks for watching. See you later.